Hey, it's Stormy B from Stormy B Life. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about a new program that I'm enrolled in, and it is the Course Career Software Development Program, where uh, you uh, enroll in order to be able to become a front end, back end, or a DevOps developer. So I am actually at the beginning of the program and I just wanted to give my honest feedback because I did do Course Careers IT program and that was excellent and it really helped me pass Azure um, 900, AZ 900. In addition to that, I was also able to secure a cybersecurity internship. It hasn't started yet, but I'm waiting for my onboarding papers and everything now. So I'm really excited about that. And while I'm doing that, I am also uh, working on becoming an efficient coder. So IE, that's why I'm rolled into Course Career Software Development Program. Uh, basically, it's a self-paced online boot camp and it's actually excellent. So let me just kind of jump right into it. So the software development program is a little more than some of the other courses on course careers. It's $7.99 compared to $4.99, but that's because it takes a lot longer and you do get a specialization um, once it's complete. Uh, additionally, that really drew me in because I've been through a software development boot camp before for three months where I had to go in person and it cost $10,000 and I did not become an efficient coder. So right out the bat, um, I am basically at the beginning of the, kind of like the beginning of the course. So I'm about 25% um, through the course. So it starts out with a crash course in HTML and CSS, which was really good. And then it goes into JavaScript. So the JavaScript is not a crash course. So it goes um, into each part of JavaScript in order for you to be able to learn JavaScript. So let me give you just a little comparison of what I experienced in the in-person bootcamp. In the in-person bootcamp, we went for three months. Like course careers, we earn React. We learned React. We learned uh, we learned a whole bunch of different programs. One being Ruby on Rails. Um, I think we did some Node. Um, we did just honestly too many different um, platforms. You know uh, that we had to kind of pick from. Like I wish they just kind of maybe had one or two or something like that. But anyway, prior to you coming in to bootcamp, you don't get. Uh, any courses or any instructions from the teachers on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which I knew CM CSS and HTML, but it's been it was such a long time since I did it, so it would have been great to have um, you know an instructor give us a crash course on it and kind of just get to the core points like in course careers. So what they did, they gave us a PDF for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in order for us to kind of teach ourselves before coming to the boot camp, And for me, that was disastrous. So when I got into the boot camp, I felt like I was so far behind. Um, I did pick up Ruby on Rails and was able to develop different uh, applications within Ruby on Rails, but I would have liked to have had more experience in JavaScript and React and uh, some of the other JavaScript platforms that they taught as well. So I was a little, you know, angered by, you know, by that because after everything was said and done, I felt like I wasted my time. And to be perfectly honest, um, it didn't really turn out well. I was there like every single day. I was only late twice because my at the time my son was a baby and he was sick. And because I had two latenesses, that were maybe not even more than 30 minutes. They told me that I was not able to receive my certificate. And then I also was not able to um, get assistance with the job placement. So my time and the cost of the course was basically wasted, you know. So um, that was my experience at that in-person boot camp. So back to course careers. So when I saw that Course Careers had a program that was dedicated to software development, I felt like, 
once again, it was a no brainer. You know, I could do it at my at my own pace. I liked the way the course for IT was taught. I felt like I was able to grasp everything and it really got to the point and I was able to become efficient in, within what I was doing. So I had no doubt about the software development course and it's taught by um, a guy named Tim and he's on YouTube as Tech With Tim. But the free course is available so you can go through the free course and he really explains everything that's going to be covered in the course. So once I went through that, I was highly excited and I specifically put a plan together in order for me to add this to my budget. Because um, going into DevOps, you know, I want to be able to code when I need to. I, I want to be able to develop apps when I want to, you know. So I, I really like working in the cloud. You know, it's important to be able to have coding experience in the cloud. I mean, you can do it without it, but I would rather be able to do it because I do like, you know, coding and I want to be very efficient at it. So, um, you know, so far the course has been great. It's been very informative. Um, he breaks things down and makes it very easy to understand JavaScript, which, um, everybody is not able to do. They just kind of, you know, sometimes it's just thrown at you. But I've been really happy with the results so far. Like I stated, I'm 25% through. But even just getting a crash course on CSS and HTML5 um, and everything, you know, just kind of getting right to the points without having a lot of noise in the process of going through so many different legacy uh, tags and stuff, you know, and not being able to use them, you know, it was just really good to just know this is what you should be using, you know, to date. And this is how you bam, bam, bam can get this done efficiently and then get to the next step to get the coding and everything. So, um, you know, so that that has really been something that I really appreciate within the course. I really feel like it's something that you can do probably as a as a beginner. You know, if you're really dedicated to doing it, you can definitely get into this course and, you know, really learn how to code. Uh, because as I stated, it's, I think a lot of times it's really just having the structure of learning the code, having the projects available, which Course Careers is really, really um, good for having instructors who give you great projects to do and to have as a reference for your portfolio and to show um, to employers. So right there, just being project based is going to be a great benefit but also having a clear understanding. I do take a lot of notes. So this is my little trusty notebook. Like I say, even though I know HTML, CSS, just kind of getting up to date with the um, newer version and everything is uh, beneficial for me. And I take my JavaScript notes so that I have references to go back to. So I won't need to, you know, kind of do a big Google search or anything like that. But if I need to go into Google or chat GPT or something to kind of figure out what's the best way to make something do this, you know, within my coding, then I can do that. But I would like to be able to have my notes first because I pick up things a lot faster like that. So that's why I write everything down because it helps me remember things a lot better. So, so, so far, this is just my initial review at 25% complete of the course. Um, I'll come back and I'll do another review uh, once I get to um, the end of the first part of the course, because after that, you have to choose a specialty, which I'll be going into DevOps and everything. So I'll give you my initial review, well, my, my uh, later review after I've done some of the projects and I've moved on to um, the more advanced options with javascript and um doing some back-end stuff and i'll let you know what i think so if you are interested in course careers you could click the link below and you'll get 50 dollars off um if you click that link below um hopefully you can find something that you are interested in and for the meantime like subscribe and share this video turn on your notifications so you know when i'm posting and i will see you in the next one thanks so much